So today we are moving on to our next day in the I am the I am book today or this for the next few days. It's going to take us a while. We go to I am healed, and I know that this one a lot of people have a lot of different perspective on, have a lot of different thoughts and opinions. Um, we're going to go through a lot of scripture. I've said a lot, a lot of times, <laughs> but. Can we just do that? Can we go through the word concerning I am healed? And so we're going to start with a definition. Healed, to make free from injury or disease, to make sound or whole. Now, I will tell you that sound or whole, soundness, wholeness, that is peace. That's shalom. And so that that peace that nothing missing, nothing broken. That's one of my ramas from the Father. And, and I have that definition written several places in my Bible. Uh, one is from Leviticus 26. And I'm going to read it down here at the bottom. So it's really tiny print. Um, and my glasses are not right here. So y'all bear with me as I read this definition. So this is the definition of shalom in Hebrew. Completeness soundness well that's all we we just that's the first two right we've already hit it that healed and shalom are very very similar to make free from injury or disease to make sound and whole is also part of the definition peace or shalom completeness soundness welfare health prosperity peace quiet tranquility contentment um, peace, friendship of human relations, or peace with God, especially in covenant relationship, or peace from war. So that is shalom, completeness, wholeness, which is also part of healing. Nothing missing and nothing broken. So the heart of God is clearly seen in the Garden of Eden. Garden of Eden, perfection, peace. Unbroken relations with God between him and his image bearers, us, mankind. Though we did make a mess of things, it didn't surprise God and it didn't change his heart towards us. If sickness and death were not a part of his original creation, which he said was good, then they are not a part of his will for us now. That that is kind of a tough swill to sort of <laughs> that's kind of a tough pill to swallow, isn't it? Because if it's God's will for people, if it isn't God's will for people to suffer and die with sickness, then why do we see it all around us? Listen to these words from the Gospel of Matthew. This is Matthew 9. Um, verse 35 and Jesus went about all the cities and villages teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the good news the gospel of the kingdom and curing all kinds of every disease and every weakness and infirmity I want to see what the passion translation says in that one 935 um Jesus walked throughout the region with the joyful message of God's kingdom realm. He taught in their meeting houses, and wherever he went, he demonstrated God's power by healing every kind of disease and illness. So Jesus went about proclaiming the gospel, which is the good news of the kingdom of God being here and at hand and curing all kinds of disease and every weakness and infirmity. We know from John, I believe it's John 8, that Jesus only did what his father said do and Jesus only said what his father instructed him to say. If Jesus ministered healing to the people while he walked this earth, if he did it then, it was the will of the Father. And since God does not change, healing is still his will. 
We're going to pick up and dig into this a little deeper tomorrow. I will see you then. Bye, y'all.